Welcome to part three of the park practice test overview. The first two parts of this tutorial have been on navigating the test and part two has been on tools that can help you as you take the test. This part of the tutorial will work on the skills that you need to answer the different types of questions that appear on the park test. There's a number of different types of questions that we'll look at examples of in the upcoming minutes. There are free response questions, multiple choice questions, multiple answer questions, drag and drop questions, plotting on a line, plotting on a graph, selecting from a drop-down menu, and questions that involve a video and a response to that. Let's take a look at those now. Free response questions are those in which you have to come up with the answer by yourself and type them into a box. In this problem, for example, in the grade 3 mathematics test, question number 12, there's a box that you can click in to type your answer. The problem says that Carol plays a ball game. She gets seven points each time her ball hits a target. If she hits a target at least five times in a row, she gets an extra 25 points. What is the total number of points Carol gets if she hits the target five times in a row? You should figure out that seven times five is 35 and the extra 25 points make 60. The nice thing about this is this test is set up so that letters cannot be typed in it will say invalid input if you try to put in something other than a number. On the English language arts test, in this case the grade 3 literacy test, the best examples of the free response questions are those in which you have to compose a written response to a prompt. In this problem for example it says to write an essay that explains how Old Mother West winds and the Sandwich's words and actions are important to the plots of the stories. Use what you learned about the characters to support your essays. Unlike the math test, this is a question that we expect you to spend a great deal more time on. Even though this box shows only about 10 lines of text, we anticipate that you will write answers that will extend far beyond and you'll have to scroll to see your whole answer. Take your time and remember you have a lot of time to write this response. Multiple choice problems are one of the most common questions you'll encounter on the park practice test. In this question for example from the grade 3 mathematics test it says Anna starts eating lunch at 12.15 p.m. She finishes eating lunch 40 minutes later. Which clock shows the time that Anna finishes eating lunch? Select the correct answer. That's a key word showing that there's only one correct answer in this problem. There are four clocks shown, A, B, C, and D. You can choose any one as your answer. What's important is to make sure that your last choice is the correct one. From 12.15 and adding 40 minutes should get us to 12.55. B is the right answer. It's important to note that once you've selected an answer, you can't make one of these disappear and have them all go back blank. So if you've chosen one of these and you're not sure if it's really right, it's important to flag this problem so that you know to come back to it later and make sure that the best answer you can figure out is the one that you choose before you submit. Another common problem you'll encounter is those in which multiple answer choices are correct. In this problem from the grade 3 ELA test, the one about a once-in-a-lifetime experience where Derek goes on a camping trip with the Adams family. Part A asks, 
Derek and the narrator start to make fish faces. How does this affect what happens next in the story? Now, if you've read through the story, you'll find out that it helps the dad feel better and he wants to join in with what's going on with the two boys. So the correct answer is A. If you notice, only one of these can be the correct answer. As you get down to part B, however, it says choose two details from paragraphs 28 through 33 that support the answer to part A. And here you can choose all of them. Now clearly that's not correct. They only want us to choose two details. So we need to take a look at paragraphs 28 to 33. You can see in here that after making their fish faces toward dad, he starts being a little silly saying fishy fishy bite my hook so I can take you home to cook and then the dad's bass frown upturned into a grin. So from all of these options here, the two that support the dad's attitude and him turning happy are fishy fishy bite my hook he chanted and his bass frown upturned into a grin. You will also see drag and drop options in the ELA tests. In the grade 3 literacy test, for example, this question, based on the story A Once in a Lifetime Experience, asks us to match up events that happen in the story with how the dad in the story responds. So if you've read the story, it's quite humorous. It asks what happens when Derek asks it if it is snowing. And there are five options that we can pick from reading the story. I know that the dad hurries the boys into the tent so they won't catch pneumonia. I can click on this box, drag it into here, and I've got that one done. The second one asks how dad responds when the boys make fish faces. From reading the story, I know that dad starts to feel happier. So I'm going to click on this one, drag it into the box, and then I just have one last one to do. For this one, it asks how dad responds when Derek asks if there should be water in the boat. And from reading the story, you should know that dad makes everyone work together to make it safely back to shore. With that, you're ready to go on to the next question. You will also encounter a number of problems that require you to be able to graph on either a number line or a coordinate system. In this problem from the grade 3 mathematics test, for example, it says plot the point that shows 5 6 on the number line. If you look at the number line given, it goes from 0 to 1 to 2, but more importantly, we have to figure out what units the distance is broken up into. Counting from 0, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means that the units are each 1 sixth of a unit long. This one asks us to plot 5 sixths, so that would be almost to 1. 1, 2 sixths, 3 sixths, 4 sixths, 5 sixths clicking on this square will be the correct answer. You can click on any one of those, but that one is the right one. On this problem from the grade 5 mathematics test, it asks us to graph points A, B, and C on the coordinate plane. Point A should be located at 4, 6. Point B should be located at 6, 4. And point C should be located at 3, 0. It says select the point A button and plot the point. Select the point B button and plot the point. Then select the point C button and plot that point. Be sure to graph all three points. Once again, make sure we've read the problem really well. By clicking on point A and then moving my cursor onto the grid, you'll notice I get a crosshair. And A needs to be at 4, 6. The 4 is the amount you go left and right, the 6 is up and down, 
So starting at zero, I'll go across four, up six, I'm gonna click, blue matches A. I'm now gonna move on to point B. And point B needs to be at point six, four. Left and right comes first, then up and down. So I'm gonna start at zero, go across six, up four, click, click on point C. This needs to be at three, zero. Across three and go up none. Start at zero, across three, up none, click, and I'm ready to go on to the next problem. You will also see drop down menus in the ELA tests. In the grade three ELA test, for example, after reading the story Me First, you're given a picture and you're asked to select one sentence from the drop down menu that describes what is happening in the picture. Then select one sentence from the next drop down menu that describe what the picture adds to the story. For the first one, it says Pinkerton was first on the bus and sat in the front row. One Sunday, Saturday, Pinkerton's Pig Scout troop went on a day trip to the beach. Or he was first off the bus, first in the water, first out of the water, and first into the picnic basket. Well, as we can see, clearly he's jumping on the bus, knocking everybody out of his way. He is the first on the bus and sits in the front row. The second drop-down asks what the picture adds. The picture shows that Pinkerton is hungry. Well, we, we know that from the story. The picture shows that the other scouts are upset at Pinkerton, or that the picture shows the different things the scouts take to the beach. Now, it does show things they take to the beach, but the story talks about, it that, about that as well. What the story doesn't talk about that the picture adds is that the other scouts are upset at Pinkerton. The last type of problem that we're going to look at are those that require you to watch a video in order to answer the questions. While this sounds like a lot of fun, it's really important that you know the purpose of watching the video before you begin. In looking at the directions, you'll see that from reading the two articles and watching the video, our job is to gather information and to answer questions so that we can later write an essay. Besides looking at those directions, read the questions before you watch the video. This one asks, what is the meaning of the word channel as it is used in this section of the video? And then in part B, we have to know what detail from the part of the video supports our answer in part A. If we keep that in mind as we watch, it'll be much easier to come back and answer the questions. There are a couple of things you need to know about the video screen. As you know, the play button will play either here or here. There's also a volume control. Most of you will have a volume control on your headset as well. So double check that this isn't muted and is on and that the volume control on your headset is also on. When you play, Where you'll be able to watch from the beginning, or you'll be able to scrub forward or backward to a specific spot in the video. This is very important because a number of questions will give you a spot in the video where you can find your answer. Watching the video from the beginning rather than from the 42nd mark will take a lot more time. Have fun with the videos and enjoy answering the questions on the park test.